Hi everyone, take 97 of my attempt to quickly show you how to put images into your AO3 docs and um, also get the HTML code that you could HTML code that you could embed into WordPress if you wanted to. Um, I'm doing all of this on an Android tablet and I'm using Google Chrome and OneDrive and Google Drive, all on Chrome rather. So on Chrome I'm using Google Drive and OneDrive and I'm doing this to demonstrate that this can be done quickly and easily without having to have either of the apps installed whether you're on um, iPhone or Android and of course if you're on PC and desktop most of this stuff about having apps installed doesn't really apply you just log online uh, log on using Chrome. I don't know about other browsers. I just know about using doing this using Chrome, which is the most popular browser in the quickest and easiest way. Um, while I am going to show you how you can do the same thing using OneDrive, I generally recommend Google because I am an Android user and it's easier. Also, there's a it gives you more free storage. You get 15 gigabytes of free storage per Gmail, and I think it's only five per Outlook. Hotmail, Livemail, all the Microsoft emails. Also, um, the price hike. So it's £1.59 to get like 100 gigabytes of free storage with Google where everything usually goes up to 7 99 for a terabyte with everybody else, such as Dropbox and so on. Uh, Dropbox isn't applicable here because they don't give out embed links. Now, um, this is about hosting, so I'll briefly explain. I used to host to Wix, but that's a bit complicated because you have to get into their website editor to get your links. Um, I recommend it to everybody to use Tumblr because Tumblr was the most stable thing for a long, long time. But we all know what Tumblr did and why we are not talking to them anymore. <coughs> and we also know what Photobucket did before that. And basically, it's just annoying that every time some website gets a bee in its bonnet about charges or content all of your stuff gets lost you lose all your links all your image links are broken um so the easiest thing is to host your images to your own cloud storage and to just get the links directly from there so we're going to do that and i'm just going to go through the process of how you get an image upload an image put it in get the code bob's tea kettle so the first thing you want to do is you want to be logged in to your Google Drive. The reason I'm logged into Drive is because my Android tablet is just logged into my account. Um, for you doing this, you would just, you would, if you are on Android, that process will, will work fine. If not, just log on. You always want to be in the desktop site. As you can see here in the menu, you saw how I access the menu. Always want to be in a desktop site or something or other will go bizarre. So that's just a rule if you're on Android, okay? So the first thing I want to do is go to Chrome. I want to go to Google Images, which I typed in, and then search for Cara Danvers ice cream. If you've got an existing image, when I get to the stage of how you upload the image, you'll be able to get it that way. But say, for argument's sake, you didn't have an image, here's how you get one. Um, this is from one of my f uh, favorite shows, Supergirl. And a favourite episode where Barry Allen the Flash had bought Cara an ice cream at super speed and she was just so happy. Yes! And it's pretty funny. So, I'd want to download this image by clicking and holding on it. Download image. You can see it's downloading. That's all we have to do for that. Okay? We then go to Drive. Where we press New. File Upload. Documents. and upload the image. Now as you can see I've been testing this a bit throughout the day and I can do multiple images by holding on to and selecting multiples but I just want to get the one that I got just now at this time. So I'll click that. You can see that it uploads it quickly and easily and I have the image. Voila! So if I click on the image here I must then make sure that the link sharing is on. Now, wherever link sharing is in whatever particular interface you're looking at, PC, Android, iPhone, 
it doesn't matter link sharing must be on we'll do it again as you can see look at the bottom corner of the screen left hand corner that is and you'll see that it piece of text pops up saying link copy to clipboard that's how you know it's right the other option this one here next to it on the right to share with other people is the wrong option we're not trying to share with other people we're trying to get a link share on um, so that's how you do it okay it's already in the clipboard so all we have to do now is go to AO3 when you open the AO3 editor with edit chapter or post new chapter you know it takes you straight to the HTML view you want to switch to rich text okay now you can't post anything that has no text so let's just type something in uh, let's type in Kara enjoyed her ice cream okay now I like to center my images you don't have to but I do like to do that so I then click insert edit image show you again that's where that is okay I paste in the code now if I just do this and paste in the code nothing will happen why because code needs a tiny bit of modification here's how you do it after the google.com forward slash you want to modify this piece of code here I'll enlarge this is the simple rule for any modifications to any code you get from Google you want to change this to say you see question mark export for oh, heaven's sake <laughs> export equals download the sign for and ID equals this is the magic code if you will this here is what you always need to change after the dot com forward slash the code should start with the UC question mark export equals download an ID equals and should always end with the next thing which is the full URL code at the end of the URL code right here where you can see where my cursor is if I had got this from the Google Drive app there would be some extra words like view USP something or the other delete the extra words at the end the URL should end with the last letter I delete the extra words and your code looks like this and that's fine however here's what's important if you got the code from Google Drive app you just go to this website Google Drive direct link generator at the URL you can see at the top of the screen screen rather you'd paste the code in there this one won't work it's going to say it's invalid but the one that you get from Google Drive goes in here and it changes it for you automatically so that's the quickest and easiest way to do it okay so we go back here when the numbers pop up in the box you can tell that it's right those numbers are the dimensions of the image which I'll show you how to edit in a moment press OK bang tea kettle there is the image in the dock posted to your own cloud storage which means it can't just break and disappear like that now if you want to change the size of the image it can do it or there's two ways to do it briefly it can do it automatically if I change it to say 300 let's make it much bigger so you can see if I change it to 500 it changes the other box automatically and it makes sure it all max matches and it doesn't turn out weird however sometimes you get an image that's a bit squirrely to begin with and you need to take out the constrained images so for instance I'll put in 300 I do not know why it did that 300 and it doesn't change this bit this will mess it up quite a bit okay but that's how you can do it manually without it doing it for you if you then go back and type in 300 and then something here make sure you change both again it will start to fix it back to normal so then you can see what I'm doing and these constrain proportions on or off but sooner or later if you keep messing around with it you're just gonna mess it up you don't panic I've been showing you on purpose that I've done it three or four times I don't remember what was originally in this box I screwed it up right you don't panic all you do is you copy and paste use the select tool and cut 
Okay, image disappears. Just repaste it back in. You'll put the original numbers back. And then you can, with the constraint firmly on, change it to whatever you like there, and it will do it properly. That is literally all there is to using Google to host and add an image. I'm going to pause for a minute so I can hit preview, just a sec. Okay, so I've hit preview and as you can see, that is the um, image in the dock. It's that easy. I can post, save without posting, whatever I like. Now I'm just going to, as quick as I can, go through the process again, showing you how to do it using OneDrive. One sec. Okay, so I'm logged into OneDrive. Again, using the, oh, no, well, okay, using the desktop site. Otherwise, sooner or later, it's going to keep popping up with an image telling you they have an app for that. And since their app doesn't actually give embed codes, that gets really annoying really quickly. So we use the desktop site and we go, we click the menu options up here and embed will be one of them. And we just click embed. As you can see, embed options turn up. We click generate and it will generate the HTML code for us. We include the HTML tags because it just makes life easier, but not when we're using the view that I suggested, which is rich text. So that trick there for include HTML tags is for if you're taking it straight to WordPress or something like that, okay? So we'll take that off for a sec. And that's the code. You can mess with the size here, but I wouldn't advise it. Just leave it as it is. And um, we're going to copy that code. And we'll take it straight here. Yeah. We'll paste it in. Now, we'll press OK. And you'll notice that although that image was a GIF, it's not moving. So what's going on? Well, they all need a little bit of something. So this is what this one needs. If you press here, slide straight along. And what you're looking for is a question mark. I'll make it huge. Where you see the question mark, and the, there you add dot gif dot gif. The numbers then pop up. It's correct. And the GIF's moving. Now, it took me donkey's years to figure that out. Uh, trial and error. I asked Microsoft help forums. I even rang them at one point like, what gives? Why doesn't this work? They had no advice. It was all crazy advice. Basically going in with the hard drive, uh, with a butter knife, try this, going to the registry, edit, all kinds of nonsense. And I thought, okay. Let me see what I know about this subject and what could possibly work. I then rang them up and said, look, I found a fix for this. And the, the guy, because he was the sales guy, he couldn't have cared less. He did seem really impressed that all on my female lonesome and managed to figure out a workaround. So that is me like the pigeon right now, like, what? <laughs> but they were of no use. I think because their storage is um, a terabyte free when you subscribe to Microsoft, they don't really manage it that much. They're not really that invested. Well, I don't know what the problem is. I just know that I couldn't figure out for ages why the GIFs weren't working and how to get them to move. So that's my uh, workaround. You're absolutely welcome because no one should have to, it's terrible customer service that you just have to spend ages figuring out how to do it. And there's just virtually no help topics on the subject. So that's how you put an image in using Drive and how you use an image using um, sorry, using Google Drive and how to do it using OneDrive. So the last thing to teach you is the HTML. So if we go back up here to the HTML view, you can see that it gives you all of the HTML. Now if we just, you see that this is not the clean HTML because it has the MBSP in it, but I really wouldn't worry about that. What you need to know is that where it says P align center, and particularly where it says image source, align center is just to put it in the middle like I like. Not important if you don't want the image in the middle. This bit here, when it says image source, open quotations and HT 
GPS from that point on, that is this bit here is your code from OneDrive and this one is your code from Google. Now you see the discrepancy, one is considerably shorter than the other and in some particular places where character length is an issue the sheer length of OneDrive links can just be quite a problem which is one of the reasons that I stopped using them. I was also pretty annoyed about the .gif thing that I had to keep adding manually but that's become less of an issue since I realised I have to modify this bit of code in the Google one myself. The thing to notice in the HTML you'll see that the AND is joined by an AMP and the uh, semicolon. Don't worry about that, that is that only shows up under certain circumstances with all kinds of HTML trickery that you really don't have to worry about but it doesn't affect the code from working in any way, okay? Now, um, I can show it to you clean, so give me a sec. Okay, so I just had to go through the preview process again and when I opened up the editor you can see clean and you can see that in some cases it doesn't does or doesn't remove it but if you took that out oops messed up the equals there as I have had people say to me no but this was in there it's not gonna work download and ID equals so if we go to rich text you'll see the image is there it works whether it puts all the nonsense in the code or not so that was about clean HTML versus non-clean. Some of you will understand what that means and some of you won't. If it isn't anything you have to worry about, then don't. So, you can copy and paste these codes here. So I'd literally lift this entire one out. Here. Copy. And I'm going to paste it under here and you'll see that that now means that image shows up twice. That is literally all there is to getting a code and then you can embed that code anywhere that you're allowed to put HTML and copy that image in. I often cheekily sneakily <laughs> use AO3 to center and size my images because it's really easy and it does it for me automatically using the insert image. A way to edit an image by the way is to press on it and highlight it then you'll see that the centers lit up because I centered it but also the insert image icon is lit up and then I can access the image again here and change the size and so on and I can also use the HTML if I'm a bit more advanced in my skills and do stuff with it here like uh, put code in the bottom here if I wanted to center if I wanted to wrap an image into text so that's a bit more advanced and I'd make a different video for that um, but it's literally you'd, you'd change the align from where it is up here and put it in there. So that's basically all there is for the absolute basics.